Bean Boy is back and I'm going to show you guys how to make cannellini beans but this can kind of apply to any dried bean although you should be eating white beans from a minimally inflammatory perspective whether that be uh, fava beans, navy beans, great northern white beans or cannellini beans. And this is important because you don't really want to be eating canned beans all the time. Most people are familiar with the downsides of canned food, whether it's the toxins in the lining of the can or that they were cooked in fluoridated tap water, maybe not under ideal conditions, too high of a heat that leaches more of those chemicals. This is going to be pretty quick and simple, but something that I've been doing a few times a week in my current diet. And I can't really think of a better food that detoxes the liver from a soluble fiber perspective. So very, very important uh, to have on my current protocol. Really simple guys, we have some organic white cannellini beans, some salt from Frankie Syringe Meat, Frankie Syringe Foods, and some glass bottled water. I usually use Mountain Valley for cooking. You could use Gerald Steiner for higher mineral content or Fuji for lower mineral content. Uh, this is actually available on my Amazon shop if you guys want this, five pounds of organic cannellini beans. So I use around 350 grams of beans for my bean dip. If you're just gonna have beans for like two or three days, maybe do a little less than that if you're just eating them in your meals, but the amount depends on you know what you're using them for, how many days you wanna eat them for. So now that we have our beans measured out, we're just going to cover them in water. And you wanna go a few inches above the height of the beans because these are going to absorb a lot of water. So that's about good. And these are gonna sit overnight. All right guys, so it's the next day and these are absorbed a lot more water than they normally do because they've been sitting for longer. Uh, so now all we do is drain this water off in the sink, put the beans in our Instant Pot, Maybe about a tablespoon of salt in here. And then we need to cover this with more water. So I usually go an inch or two above the beans. That is always plenty. We'll put our lid on. We press bean chili, normal, which is 30 minutes. Turn off, keep warm. And this is gonna take about an hour and a half, half an hour to warm up, half an hour to cook, then about half an hour for the heat and pressure to dissipate. So you wanna do this earlier in the day so that they're ready for your meals later. So we put this on in the morning and it's now past midnight. So this has pretty much been sitting all day after we cooked it. And as you guys could see, the beans have picked up a little more water, but you know, we still got plenty down here. So nice, soft, creamy. And I've had these plain just like this out of the Instant Pot guys, they are Absolutely delicious, awesome addition to any meal. So you can keep these in the fridge probably for about a week. Definitely wouldn't leave them out on the counter. They kind of go bad after a day or two, depending on how hot it is. I use these for my white bean puree. Uh, we did that recipe some months ago now, and I'm not gonna make it today, but I will show you guys what's in it. So uh, here we have the organic artichoke spread that's on Frankie's Free Range Foods. This adds a lot of flavor, it's very, very special. Before I was using the artichoke spread, I was using either whole artichokes or just mushrooms and onions, but I always have been adding the caramelized mushrooms and onions. So even without the artichoke spread, it's pretty good, but uh, the artichoke really does take it to another level. So here I have in this uh, some beef collagen broth and beef stock from Frankie Syringe Meat with more of the mushrooms and onions. So uh, just to Give the list of every ingredient in there. White cannellini beans, artichoke spread, mushroom, onion, salt, beef stock. Uh, we'll put some coconut oil in there and sometimes a little water to thin it out. But um, that's really it. That's just blended up and I put it on my pasta every day. If you guys want to watch the white bean puree uh, recipe video, I'll put that right here. But that's it for today, guys. I'm so exhausted. I'm wearing my shirt inside out. I did not have the energy to even bother to turn my raggy sweatshirt right side in. Maybe you guys should help me out a little bit by going to frank-stefano.com and supporting me through all of my businesses. As simple as this is, it's very important for reducing the overall toxin content in your diet because you don't wanna be eating 
canned beans made with fluoridated tap water every day. As always, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.